going. Okay. I'd like to call the meeting of the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment to order. The board members present today are Janet Herman, Chairman, Angelia Bills, Vice Chairman, and Justin Randall, Member. The BZA coordinator is Debbie Nesbitt, and staff planner are Abby Freudel and Mel Wilson. First, I offer into the record the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, April 20th, 2022. The board hereby takes official notice takes official notice of and admits into evidence on the record the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance Chapter 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BZA meeting of April 6, 2022. So moved. I second it. All right, the hearing procedure is informal, but is a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will read each request into the record. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name and make a brief presentation to the board. Explaining the reason and hardship for the requested variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When the board is satisfied with the material presented. The chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To indicate you would like to speak, please click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, staff will read them into the record. Before our call for the vote, the petitioner may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion has ended and no further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today. Two members of the board must vote in favor of the petition for it to be approved. If a variance is approved, you have six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has the right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. This must be done within 30 days of the decision. Paperwork indicating the board's decision will be mailed to the petitioners. 31-22, Stephen Picker requests an exception to allow the construction of a 24 foot by 40 foot detached garage, which will be more than half of the footprint of the home and to maintain an alternate dust proof surface in lieu of a paved driveway at uh, 10573 Ridge Avenue, as required by Section 4 of the R3 Residence District Regulations and Section 1003.165 Off Street Parking and Loading Requirements of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay, Mr. Picker, you are <laughs> unmuted to give your presentation. Yes, basically, I'm building a garage. When I bought the property, there was an old barn on it and some little doll house that was all been removed. Basically, the garage is to keep everything under cover, such as my auto, lawnmowers, yard tools, tillers, such as that, um, my tools and workbench. That's the need of the garage, basically, is keeping everything under cover. Mm -hmm. And there's no storage or garage on the property right now? No, ma'am. They've all been removed. There was an old barn, and the uh, home inspector, Glenn, went me to make it watertight or something. It was going to cost too much money for the old barn. The old barn had character, but I couldn't see him putting that much money in, so I think it's been demolished and removed. And it says you want to maintain an alternate dustproof surface. Do we have a picture of, of anything, um, Debbie? Um, I, I don't have one. Maybe Debbie sent one. I, oh. I did send some photos. Uh, he, he lives on a, uh, it's, it's considered a county roadway, but it's not improved. It is just rock and pretty, pretty much dirt <laughs> to his property where he has, uh, a lot of rotomill and gravel on it. So, uh, yeah, I think I did see a picture. Um, see if I can... Abby, if you make me the presenter, I've got the, I can show the file photos real quick. Yep. Mm 
Oh. I believe what they call it, like a paper street or something like that. Um, I don't know if I, here we go. Let me pull these up. Oh, you know what? No, I got it. I just pulled it up online. Okay. Well, I'll pull them up. It's coming up. So I'll just. Okay. Yeah. I looked at them earlier and I kind of forgot what it looked like. Okay. So it's pre pretty much, out, it looks like it's pretty much out in the country and on a lot of. Yes, it is. People around. So what you have there now is a gravel, it looks like gravel. Huh? Yes, gravel and rotomill mill and a lot of mud. <laughs> The so road going to my property. Were you going to add to that gravel or, or just you wanted to keep it the way it is? I just like to keep it the way it is because originally it was the old driveway went all the way up to the old barn, but you know, nobody used the barn for 20 something years, 15 years. So naturally, you know, vegetation took over, you know, so that they mean the driveway and my uncovered, you know, between River Rock, Roto Mill, and White Rock was all underneath there going all the way up to the barn. Which was in the back of the property, or to the back against the fence line back in the day. But they, back when the house was built in 1920, I mean, that's where it was all, everything was located at. But now things, you know, 15 feet off the property lines. You know, okay. how on, the, on the field side of the house where all the ground's at, I mean, that's a couple hundred feet away from the house. That's all this field and wildlife. Okay. So, Debbie, uh, would you mind if I ask you a question about does that look like out of character for the from what I can tell from the pictures it looks like it's kind of wilderness -y looking yes it's very much um, rural in character there okay that's why I was kind of getting from the pictures okay I don't have any other questions just for Angelia do you no I don't have any questions can I ask a question real quick um on the site plan, it doesn't look like the driveway, just as drawn, the extension would be going all the way back to the garage, but is that your intention to have it lead all the way to the new garage? Well, yeah, originally the driveway went all the way back to the barn, you know, which was in the very back of the property against the fence, but my, uh, with the, you know, with the new code, so the garage is 15 off the sideline, 15 off the rear line. So really my driveway, it would be where the existing driveway was originally. I'm not changing the driveway nowhere at all. I just uncovered uh, the overgrowth, you know, from the back of the house to where the old barn was, because nobody ever used that old barn, whoever stayed there. So once I cleared all the weeds off it, then exposed was the rock and all that. So the driveway always went back to the old barn. So I'm not really extending the driveway anything or like that, making it longer by no means. So you wouldn't, so to get from the driveway to the new garage, you wouldn't have to cross over any grass. You would still be on the, the existing yeah. gravel. That is correct. Okay. Thank you. That That's my only question. Okay. Thank you. Um, Justin, did you, uh, did you have a question? No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone on this? Uh, this uh, WebEx that's in favor or opposition to this, if so, please hit the hand next to your name to speak. I don't see anyone. Okay. 31-22, I'm going to vote to approve the variance as advertised. It looks like it's, um, as far as the um, alternate dustproof surface, it looks like it's pretty rural out there and it would not be a um, hindrance to any of the neighbors. And um, as far as the garage, um, it, it looks like um, that he needs something to keep his uh, equipment, tools, and, and cars in. And um, I don't think it'll be uh, harmful to any of the neighbors again. I second it. I'm going to disagree. Okay. Um, well, so uh, we voted in favor, two of us voted in favor. So you'll be getting your paperwork in the mail. Okay, thank you. Well, did you make me the presenter again? Or I guess I have to change my role. Yeah, I think you just have to reclaim it. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Okay.
Okay, can you all see it? Yes. All right. 37-22 Vivica Mac requests an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of maintaining a shed at 3335 Brookshire Drive, maintaining a rear yard of eight feet in lieu of 15 feet as required by the R4 Residence District regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. <coughs> Barbara Herr, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Thank you. Um, I do have a question now before I get started. Um, you guys are saying a rear yard of eight feet in lieu of 15 feet, but the shed is only 17 inches into the easement. So I'm not sure. Oh, we measure by the property line, not the easement. Gotcha. Okay, that that was my confusion then. Okay, so so that would work out right, correct? Um, as far as I can tell, I'm going off of my survey of the property. Yeah, it looks like it says eight. It's actually eight and a half feet from the back property line. Okay. Gotcha. So basically, what this is is we have sold the property back in June of last year, and the shed was not permitted. So we're asking for a variance because it does encroach the easement. I have gotten all the utility easement um, releases except for Spectrum, I'm still waiting on them. And this shed was basically just for my husband's, he was a carpenter, so he kept all his tools and everything in there. Okay. So is that common ground behind you, behind there? It's actually, well, I guess it, we maintained it, but it's actually, I think part of, there's a drainage system behind us. It's a concreted in creek, basically. So there's nothing back there. It's just grass. And then it ends in a, a fence where the creek or the concreted, Part starts. I should. Thank you. It was. Angela or Justin, do you have any other questions? I don't. No, I don't. Well, actually, I, do. I mean, is that a garage door on there? It's a roll up door. It's not considered a garage door. It's just a, uh, it rolls into itself above. Okay. And then it has an actual front porch built onto the front of it. Gotcha. All right. Thanks. All right. Is there um, anyone on this WebEx that wants to speak in favor or opposition to 37 22? Please hit the hand next to your name. I don't see anyone. Hearing none, 37-22, I, I vote to approve the variance as advertised. I'll second it. I'll concur. So uh, the paperwork will be sent to the petitioner. Or no, I guess to, to the... Uh, to us, yeah. Yes. To yes. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Um, thirty-three dash twenty-two Costco wholesale requests an exception to the sign regulations for pur the purpose of installing a new canopy signage at the Costco fuel pumps at forty-two hundred Rusty Road maintaining a sign size of 20 square feet in lieu of 10 square feet as required by the C8 Planned Commercial District Regulations, Section 1003.168 Sign Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and C8 Ordinance 28407. I'd also like to um, remind you all that this is the one of the 
petitions that staff made a recommendation of approval for um, because replacing the signs is part of the fuel pump expansion. And we feel that the size of the development and proximity to Interstate 55 make larger signs necessary at this site. Um, Julie Anderson and Kayleen Burnett, you are both unmuted to give your presentation. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Julie Anderson of our Cousin Consulting Engineers in Kent, Washington. Um, I'm the applicant as well as the planning consultant for the project. Um, as Abby stated with me is also Kayleen Burnett, real estate manager from Costco. Uh, Costco is requesting an approval to allow for the replacement and relocation of the existing fueling canopy signs as part of the fuel facility expansion project. The fuel expansion will expand the canopy to the west and south directions, thereby resulting in an off-center location for the existing canopy signs on the south and west facades. Uh, so Costco just wishes to replace and relocate the signage so it is centered on the expanded canopy. The new signs will remain consistent in size and design with the existing canopy signs that were previously approved under variance 107-02. Uh, I'm available to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for your consideration of this request. Justin or Andrew, Leah, do you have any questions? No, I'm good. Okay, um, I think I'm good also. Um, is there anyone? On this WebEx that's in favor or opposition to 38-22, please hit the hand next to your name to speak. I do not see anything. All right. Based on the existing conditions and the proximity to Interstate 55, I'd recommend approval of 38-22. I'll second. I concur. Okay, your paperwork will be sent to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 39-22 Preserve Development LLC requests an exception to the front yard regulations and the sign regulations for the purpose of constructing a new subdivision development at 7609 Mackenzie Road, maintaining a monument sign with a front yard of five feet in lieu of 20 feet and a width of 30 feet in lieu of 15 feet, and a monument pillar with a front yard of 10 feet in lieu of 50 feet and a height of 12 feet in lieu of eight feet as required by the R3 residence district and the NU non-urban district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and PEU Ordinance 27,844. And I will remind the board that this was the other petition we wrote a staff recommendation for approval of noting that the entrance roundabout serves both this new subdivision and the resurrection cemetery so we find that wayfinding is necessary within the roundabout and that the entrance locations were limited due to the location of the signalized entrance and also a reminder that this was previously approved on june 2nd 2021 okay and David Voles, you are unmuted to give your presentation. All right, uh, my name is David Voles. I'm with Voles Engineering, and I'm representing the Preserve Development LLC, which is basically uh, McKelvey, McKelvey Homes, and on these BZA variants, which, which were previously mentioned. And again, these were approved on June the 2nd of 2021, and we're not asking for anything different than what was approved uh, at that meeting. What happened was it just took that long for the construction of the roundabout to take place and now we're ready to get a permit for the for the monuments and start building those so that's why that previous bza had had expired so i won't go through the whole presentation if you have any questions i, I can answer them or i could go through more if you'd like um well 
I'm fine with, if, you know, if nothing has changed since we already approved it, but uh, Angela or, or Justin, do you have any questions? Uh, I'm fine as well, Janet. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Well, I don't think there's any need to go into it further than if everything's exactly the same. Um, uh, uh, is there anyone on this WebEx that wants to speak in favor or opposition though? Please hit the hand by your name. I don't see anyone. Okay. 39-22, I'm gonna to vote to approve the variance as advertised. And um, the, uh, this was previously approved back in June of 2021, I think. And um, so nothing has changed, so I'm just reapproving. Second it. I'll concur. Okay, your paperwork will be sent to you. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Forty dash twenty two Ray Brinker requests an exception to allow the construction of a thirty foot by thirty foot detached garage, which will replace an existing garage and will be more than half the footprint of the home and to allow a lot coverage of twelve point five percent in lieu of seven percent at ninety four hundred Sterling Place as required by section four of the R5 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County zoning ordinance. Okay, Mr. Brinker, you are unmuted. Um, yeah, I would love, like to build a 30 by 30 garage, mainly because I have four cars and two of them, one of them is a 62 Nova convertible, and uh, my existing garage is uh, kind of falling apart. Uh, and the other one is a 97 Cadillac, and uh, I'd like to, I'd like to uh, have a new garage with a lot of room, because we are getting older, and we uh, kind of mess up on uh, the foot with the brake and the gas sometimes. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so. <laughs> I need a bigger garage, <laughs> and I got I like to park the other car in there too, another car in there too, and uh, it's uh, the only there's only one side where I actually need a variance on, and if if I can't get a 30, a 28 would be would be fine, you know I mean we could we could go 30 by 28 so on the side to make, to make it a little less, you know on on the on the variance. That's that's about it. No. Is this a pretty small lot? Yeah, it is. I, I um, actually it was when we moved here. It was still a street. It was still Radio Avenue, and uh, it's been vacated. So our lot is actually 25 feet bigger than it was then. So it was 50 something then, and now it's it's uh, 75 or 78 something like that. So, so it looks uh, like they're pretty narrow there. Yeah, it's, uh, but I mean, the, the my house is five feet from the building line. So, I mean, I, I, the back of my garage would be nine feet from the building line. And um, the front of the garage would be 23 feet from the from my property line. The only side uh, would be the left side. That's where I need a, a few more feet. Well, I don't, it doesn't look like we're talking about being over your property lines. No. It's a, it's a lot of coverage and uh, that it's larger than the home. So. Um, no, uh, no, it, it wouldn't be larger than the home. It's uh, my home's. Uh, I'm sorry, more than half the footprint of the home. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I'm but, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said that incorrectly. That's right. <laughs> Uh, because the zoning is R5, he can go the three feet in the back uh, at, at the back property line. So that's why he doesn't need a variance back there for the second. Right. I, yeah, I don't need, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need the variance on the side. That's all. Because the, the other side will stay the same by the house. Well, it's really for the lot. It's for the lot. No, yeah. Hmm? It's for the lot coverage the percentage, but anyway, um, Justin or Angelia, do you have any questions? 
How big is the existing garage? Do you know? It's um, it's uh, twenty two foot, and actually, it's kind of in the front. It's twenty five, uh, but uh, it it has a little extension, and then in the back, it's twenty two. So in the front, it's got a six foot little cove there, six by uh, six foot long, three and four foot wide. So it's a uh, Basically, I'd have to go over, you know, five feet. I, I wouldn't have to. I could go. I could go less. But uh, yeah. you know, I I could do a twenty-eight. Would be great. I'm just looking for something that works blocks, <laughs> so I don't have to cut. <laughs> if I could uh, add, we did hear um, from the council person's office for the district just generally about this this request and I think it might be um, preferable to reduce the size as, as much as possible um, to mitigate their concern. Uh, they didn't submit a formal letter, but they did reach out um, inquiring if if the proposed garage was larger than than the original. Um, so I think it would be more palatable if you could reduce the size to, to 28 at least. That's fine. That's perfect. It, you know, <laughs> Assuming whatever wrong, however like, the board acts. Just, I want a ten foot garage door and an eight eight foot garage door. I can still get in the eight foot, but <laughs> but uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's eight twenty eight would be fine wide. Yeah. Okay. Angelia or Justin, do you have any other questions? No, I'm good. Okay, is there anyone on this that's in favor or opposition? Please hit the hand by your name to speak. I don't see anyone. Hearing none, 40 22, I vote to approve the variances advertised. I feel like it will upgrade the property um, for them to, you know, uh, redo the garage and the driveway. Yeah, well, it'll look a lot better. <laughs> well, I'm going I'm to vote to approve. Approve it at 30 by 28 instead of the 30 by 30. Okay, that's fine. And now we have to hear from Justin. I'm 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 gonna disagree. Okay, so I don't know. We've never. Oh, I agree with the 30 by 20 that Janet proposed. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, so the. We're changing from 30 by 30 to 30 by 28, and that's approved. Right. All right. Yes. We'll, send, we'll send you paperwork to that. Speaking about okay. That. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you. Yes. Forty-one dash twenty-two, Matt and Becky Wilkie requests an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing an open deck and a screened in deck at 3003 Lakeview Park Drive, maintaining a rear yard of five feet in lieu of 15 feet as required by the R3 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and PEU 13044. All right, Matthew, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Hi, uh, my name is Matt Willicky, and my wife and I moved into our house in 2017. It was built in 1993. Um, I guess the current deck that we have was grandfathered in. Uh, my wife and I are looking to replace it. We live on a very unique lot, as you hopefully can see there. Um, there's an alleyway that's behind, that's directly behind our house. It's owned by the subdivision, and it's common ground. Um, and that's where our issue is um, trying to get the approval to to build a deck, even the same size as our current deck, or in our case, what we'd like to do is maybe go a few feet bigger. Um, the entire deck and patio would be on our property. It's just the the rear um, setback is less. Uh, we, we would need it to be less than uh, the 15 feet to be able to to uh, build the deck. Um, so we're just trying to get approval for that. 
um, so, so we can build our deck. Um, spoken to the subdivision trustees about it. They're fine with it. Um, neighbors on either side have spoken with them and sent in letters for both. They're fine with it, but I don't know if it really matter for them anyway. I think it's more for the rear because the rear is where the uh, the setback issue is. And like I said, that's common ground that's owned by the alleyway or that's owned by the subdivision. It's an alleyway. The alleyway ends um, in our backyard. No one uses it. It's just there. Um, in fact, we've even spoken to the subdivision about one day uh, possibly buying part of that alleyway to make our backyard bigger. Hmm. So that that kind of cuts in that comes into your backyard there. That's interesting. Yeah, it's pretty unique, uh, a unique lot for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, the the alleyway, the the point of the alleyway kind of curves um, around towards our deck and towards the backyard, and it, so it makes it. Um, less than than the 15 foot setback because the alleyway isn't just a straight like when you're driving back there or walking back there it's just not a it's not a straight piece back behind our house it kind of curves towards our house and it makes the backyard even smaller behind the deck than than what it already is mm -hmm. but like i said the deck and it's a walkout basement the decks meet you know 15 20 feet high off the ground and th there's there's no nobody's property um, that, that we would be interfering with or anything. And, and, and the deck and the, the patio are both going to be on our property. It's just a setback is, is what we needed to have, have reduced to be able to do that. Justin or Angelia, do you have any questions? Uh, I'm good. I don't have any. I did receive uh, some letters with the application from neighbors, uh, from three of the neighbors, uh, with say, stating they have no opposition to the request. Oh, okay. Yeah, two are neighbors and one is the trustee. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Well, let's see, is there anyone else on this that wants to speak in favor or opposition? Please hit the hand next to your name. Doesn't sound like anybody's on. <laughs> is that mine? No, it's Justin. Yes. Is, it, is it 33? No, it's 41 dash. Oh, gosh, 41. I'm way off. All right. Uh, 41 dash 22, uh, based on the unique lot layout, um, I'd recommend approval as proposed. I second it. I'll concur. All right, so we'll send you your paperwork. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Abby, are you muted? Yes. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't even, I, you went to the back, I couldn't even see you. <laughs> okay. 42-22 Steve and Linda Benz requests an exception to the parking regulations for the purpose of converting the garage space into living area, which will eliminate the required parking space behind the building line at 120 Lime Gardens Drive as required by the R5 Residence District Regulations and Section 1003.165 Off-Street Parking and Loading Requirements of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay, Steve, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Thank you, hello. <laughs> Hi. So we're hoping to get a variance to convert the basement of this house and garage to living space. Um, unfortunately, with the 20 foot setback, the parking area behind the building line would be 9 feet versus the 19 feet required. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So, <clears throat> where the garage is there, you want to convert that into living space? <clears throat> yes, this is actually the basement of the home. <clears throat> oh, okay. Excuse me. So then you'd be used doing all your parking in the driveway, correct? Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
how many cars do you have? Two. Okay. So they would be able to fit in the driveway. Oh, absolutely. There's 40 feet of driveway here. Okay. I have no questions. I have none either. Okay. Uh, I don't either. Oh, um, is there anyone in favor or opposition to number 42-22? Please hit the hand by your name to speak. I don't see anyone. Okay. 42-22, I'm going to go ahead and vote to approve the variance as advertised. Um, I think there looks like there's need for more um, sp space for the home living area and um, they're able only having two cars, they're able to park them in the driveway so they won't be a nuisance on the street or anything. So I don't see any. I second it. I'll concur. Okay, well, we will send you your paperwork. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, I guess that's the end of our meeting. So. Thank you.